Hello there. I'd like to start this simple discussion with the assumption that you had already encountered quantitative and qualitative research and you're looking to enrich your existing study using mixed methods. But first, a quick review of the two methods I had mentioned. Simply put, quantitative research deals with numbers and statistics to quantify attitudes, behavior, and other defined variables, while qualitative research deals with non-numerical data to understand concepts, opinions, or experiences. With this in consideration, quantitative data can be collected through experiments, observations recorded as numbers, survey questionnaires with close-ended questions. Qualitative data can be collected through interviews with open-ended questions, which can either be one-on-one, -on -one, an example of which is a key informant interview, where an expert or some experts or key persons in the field can be interviewed, through focus group discussion, where a small group of selected participants are gathered to represent the population under study. Other means of collecting qualitative data are participant observation and literature review. After collecting these data, quantitative research is expressed in numbers through graphs and tables in order to test or confirm theories. Qualitative research is expressed in words in order to understand phenomena. Collected data then go through statistical analysis if they are quantitative in nature, whereas qualitative data are analyzed through content analysis, thematic analysis, or discourse analysis, whichever is most appropriate. In a capsule, quantitative research is helpful to confirm or test something, such as a theory or a hypothesis, while qualitative research is helpful if you want to understand something, such as concepts, thoughts, opinions, or experiences. Mixed method research is a methodology that incorporates multiple methods to address research questions in an appropriate and principled manner, according to Bryman 2012, Cresswell 2015, Cresswell and Plano Clark 2011 which involves collecting, analyzing, interpreting, and reporting both qualitative and quantitative data. Findings from mixed methods research offer a holistic view of a phenomenon and provide additional insights into different components of a phenomenon, which might help for generating substantive theories, according to Ventikesh and others in 2013. Now the question is, which mixed methods design will you use? The selection of the best design may not be an easy task for a researcher, especially when you're a student and you have budget and time constraints. Just bear in mind to choose the design that helps you get the answers to your research questions in the most time and energy efficient way. Three common types of mixed methods research include convergent parallel mixed methods design, explanatory sequential design, and exploratory sequential design. Convergent parallel mixed methods design. In this design, quantitative and qualitative methods are mixed to obtain the results. First, two types of data are collected concurrently or at the same time. Then, data are analyzed independently using quantitative and qualitative approaches, which I had already mentioned earlier. In a convergent design, the integration of quantitative and qualitative methods will help the researcher get a complete picture of the issue being explored and to validate one set of findings with the other. For instance, if the researcher is examining the, the impact of the different learning modalities to basic education in the new normal setup, he or she can, contact, can, can collect quantitative data through survey questionnaires and collect qualitative data through interviews of students and teachers in order to get to understand the issue. In the analysis phase, the researcher can look for common concepts across both sets of findings. Explanatory sequential design. 
This design occurs in two phases. It begins with collecting and analyzing quantitative data and then following it with qualitative collection and analysis. Let's take the same study mentioned in the first MMR design. The researcher gathers quantitative data through survey questionnaires. Then once the data has been analyzed, the researcher then explores on selected findings and explains them through qualitative means. For example, the survey results will show that the blended learning modalities have made the teachers and students use more digital technologies. The researcher may proceed with collecting qualitative data by interviewing students and teachers in order to delve deeper into this finding. Exploratory Sequential Design This design happens in three phases. First, the researcher explores an issue in depth through qualitative means. The second phase includes the creation of the quantitative instrument, such as a questionnaire, to identify and measure the variable and statistical trend. The third phase is the collection of quantitative data using the instrument created in phase two. For example, using the same study mentioned earlier, the researcher may conduct interviews in order to gather students' and teachers' views about the different learning modalities used in the new normal setup. After having gathered common themes from these interviews, the researcher proceeds to creating the research instrument by identifying the variables in focus. The third phase is then administering this research instrument created in the second phase and then proceeding to integrating the two sets of data and drawing integrated conclusions. Having heard these three different mixed method designs, you may now ask, which design fits my study best? I've said this and will say this again. It really boils down to your time and budget constraints, especially when you're a student trying to meet the deadlines for this grading period or this semester. The convergent parallel design is the most practical, especially when you are under time pressure whereas the explanatory and exploratory designs require more time considering the two or three phases in order for you to integrate the qualitative and quantitative methods. What's really important is what works for you at this time of your academic life. In closing, mixing two research methods in order to come up with a quali, quanti, or mixed methods research might be superior to a single method as it is likely to provide rich insights into the research phenomena that cannot be fully understood if you're only to do qualitative research or quantitative research alone. I wish this video has helped you get started in your mixed methods research endeavor and if there's any topic that you'd wish us to tackle in our next videos, kindly leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you!